hello everyone you're welcome back to the channel if it's your first time hello and welcome today's video is on how to make the center front crossed turban design yes and i have with me my materials this fabric is called poly it's like scuba but it is softer then i have the wadding that's the white one you're seeing i have my straight scissors and my pinky share scissors okay it's also called the zigzag scissors and i have my measuring tape and the needle and thread I'll start by cutting out two pieces of fabric okay the first one is for the band while the other one is for the body of the turban now the measurement I use for the band is 23 inches width by the length 4 inches okay the 23 inches is the earth circumference part so please work with your own measurement now for the body of the turban I used 23 inches by 14 inches it all depends on you and please when you're cutting please make sure you cut with your pinky shear scissors or zigzag scissors if you're making it for a client i discovered that my pinky shear scissors was actually blunt as at the time i filmed this tutorial so i just needed to go home with the procedure and why that was why i used my straight scissors now, if you don't want to use the zigzag scissors, you can decide to use the straight scissors and um, go ahead to weave the edges of your turban if you're making for a client. You have to do that to make your work very neat. I have the wrong side of the band facing up right now and I'm going to fold in half like this and I have the body of the turban, the right side facing up and I'm going to place my band this way just like we join our turban base to the band the regular way okay and i'm going to stitch from one end to the other end i've joined the body and the band of the turban together and i'm going to keep that aside so i have these two pieces that i've cut out okay and the measurement is 27 inches length 27 inches length by 7 inches width i also have my wording cut out and the measurement is 24 inches by 7 inches width the length of the wording is not as long as that of the fabric okay so i'm going to place it in such a way that we have the right side of the fabric facing up and i'm going to fold in half like this and i'll stitch from one end to the other end i'll repeat the same procedure on the other piece which i already did and i'm going to trim off the excess allowance right here now i'm actually using the soft wording it is also called felt if you're outside nigeria now i'm just going to turn the right side of the pieces of the fabric out and we'll proceed now we have the two pieces of the fabric turned out i mean the right side are out and one of the pieces is going to be facing up this way that's one where we have the stitch is going to be facing up while the second one where we have the stitch is going to be facing down now i'm going to cross them like this just watch what i'm doing okay i'll just cross them as you can see and that is the design we're going to be attaching to our turban now i'm going to place one end of this our uh, crossed turban design to the body of the turban this way it's going to go in a little bit away from the band area please watch this part i'm touching it's going to be covering the stitch between the band and the body a little bit but it's not going to be coming forward too much i hope you understand and i'm going to use my office pin to just pin it down while i move to the other end so i repeat the same on the other end now i'm going to take it to my sewing machine and i will stitch I do the same on the other end. Now, after stitching the crossed piece of fabric to the body of the turban, I'm going to fold like this. I just fold in half. You notice I've already done a curve right there. I've trimmed that part off to do a curve like we normally make a turban base. Okay, so I'm going to use my office pin just to hold them down and keep them in place or keep it in place while i stitch okay because it has to align properly 
okay so i'm using my office pin to just hold it down hold the folded piece down so that it doesn't move away while stitching now this part where we have the crossed part joined to the body of the turban you can see that there's this thread there used in stitching when you want to stitch you have to move away a little bit from where you have that thread train so that by the time you turn the right side of your cap out it won't be showing on the outside so i'm going to stitch like that but the part where we have the twisted part joined to the body of the turban may actually not go through your sewing machine so you can use a needle and thread to stitch that part neatly now i'm going to sew loose stitches from this end like that to where we have the twisted part joined to the body of the turban i'm going to stop right here can you see i'm going to stop right here and i'll take the needle and thread backward to secure the gathers okay i just run a little stitches i pulled to form gathers and i am just taking my needle and thread backwards to stitch and um, secure our gathers properly Now we're going to turn the right side of our cap out and this is what we have so i'm just going to go ahead and style it properly and i'm joining the two pieces can you see after it is crossed you know we have two pieces on one side and two pieces on the other side crossed on top of each other so i'm just using my needle and thread to attach them together so that they don't move away and so that it will be convenient when it is being Put on so I'll just use my needle and thread to stitch can you see the way I'm stitching I'm making sure that the thread doesn't show either on the upper part of the cap or even on the one under so I'm just taking my needle and thread, thread through like that to stitch and I'm going to repeat the same on the other side Okay, so our cap is ready you can either leave it this way or you tack the twisted part to the cap all right you can just take your needle through from inside like this and tack it to the cap permanently you understand okay or you leave it like that and style it on you where you want to put it on like this just leave it like this that's another option okay so you're going to watch how i'm going to try this on me to see how it looks like i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up share with others and please leave a comment below okay thank you so much for watching i'll see you in our next tutorial bye